Hello and welcome to today's video and in today's video we'll be showing you our new colony of a type of carpenter ants. So the scientific name will be on the screen now because I cannot pronounce the name but these ants are absolutely awesome. As you can see now we ordered them with two queens and a load of brood and eggs. But when we ordered the ants there was quite a bit of mould in their test tube so what I did I got another test tube, filled it up with water, put the cotton wool in, make sure it was all sterile and nice and clean. Then I connected the two tubes together, made the new one dark and put bright light over the old one. So very quickly, both the queens and all the eggs and brood exited their old tube with mould in and went into the brand new tube. As you can see here, there was quite a bit of mould in this old tube. So it was quite, it was a good job that I moved them because mould can easily kill your whole colony. But as you can see, they've got the first two workers. There you can see two workers of the start of going to be a massive, massive colony. These two workers only hatched today and yesterday. So, as you can see, there's another pupae there. And there's a lot more egg, a lot more brood and pupae ready to hatch. So very soon we'll be able to feed these carpenters the first ever food. I'll wait till they get five workers, then I'll give them their first ever meal. Here you can see a worker feeling around with his antennas, smelling smelling the food in the air. He goes up to it, touches it with his antenna and scurries back quickly. Then he gets brave again and goes back over and has a little nibble of it, tells his friend and then eventually the queens come over. All the and Basically every single person in the tube was over eating some of the food. So they definitely liked it and it definitely, definitely helped with the growth rate of the colony. So as you can see, the queen absolutely loved this mealworm. There was one individual queen that ate most of it. But then very soon after that, the colony gained an extra two workers. So there was now four workers. So then I plugged up the test tube to their new nest, which we did a review on in the last video. So you have, if you haven't seen the last video, click the top right icon right now. So we connected them up to the nest. I put a hat over the nest so it was darker. And they started to move. They got into the pipe, but... They went from the tube into the pipe and they just needed to go a little bit more to the nest. And as you can see here, there was a queen and a worker wandering around the nest having a look around. But it did actually go back and then eventually it nudged on the rest of the queen, the other queen and the rest of the workers to go in. Then all of the workers and queens and brood eggs, larvae, pupae moved in quite fast actually. It took less than a day, it was probably like half a day and they were in. So after they settled in, the next day I put them in ahead of a mealworm. So this is the second meal now of the colony, but this is the first meal inside their new nest, which I think they really, really enjoyed it. And it looked like they were very excited about it because there was workers going straight over to it. I also put in a little cotton wool with some nectar on, which was from Wakushi. And they also loved that, they drank so much of it and the gasters were massive from it. So the day after the mealworm was put in, we gained an extra worker so there was now five workers. Which was awesome, I couldn't believe how fast they were growing. They were, they were gaining about a worker every other day, but they were definitely growing a lot faster. All the workers were exploring loads and very soon I do plan to attach an outwall to their setup and eventually when the colony is big enough I want our pipes running all across my room so that ants can wander around the whole of the room and then they'll be going to different nests throughout the room and it'll be really good. So as you can see here the gasters from the workers are absolutely massive. They're probably full of there's, some, there's probably some aquapletes which are repletes. Repletes are ants that hold a load of food in the social stomach so if they have not much food then the, they can always like barf up the food and pass it over to the queens and other workers larva and etc but an aquaplete is a worker that just holds water so if they have a dry spout they've got enough water to last the colony till the dry spout ends and as you can see here if you look very carefully they are stretching out the sixth worker. So the sixth worker just came from a pupae and they're st stretching him out currently, uh, making him nice and clean. And there's four workers on him right now, all stretching him out. And it looks like this is going to be our sixth worker. And the next day I check up on them and the sixth worker is there. 
I was proper excited about this because the colony was growing so fast. But after the sixth worker, we didn't have another worker for probably three or four days. But we didn't have another worker for about three or four days. But I kept feeding them and they kept eating loads of food. But eventually, after a few days, we gained a seventh worker. So at this point, I was probably feeding the colony three, maybe four times a week. It depends. Only like a head of a mealworm. But then I put in a full mealworm for the first time today. So I'll show you some clips of that. And they don't go to it for a while, but then they start feeding on it. And I absolutely love this colony. I've got three colonies now. And the, the, they're really cool. I love the colour of them. I love the shape of them. I love the size of them. Eventually, I want them to be gained all around my room in tubes. Gained to different outworlds, gained to different nests. And I think it'd be really cool. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you like and subscribe. And that'll be on the channel when this colony gets big enough. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So here I've got three different mealworms for my three different ant colonies. So these three different mealworms for my three different ant colonies. The big one is for my... The big one's for my Myrmica Maruba colony. That one's for my Capenotus Nico colony. And then the baby one is for a secret colony that will be out on the channel very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It is a founding colony in a test tube at the moment. But let's feed my other two colonies. One mealworm gain into the Myrmica Maruba colony and I knocked over the water feeder. Alright, so the Myrmica Maruba colony should find that mealworm very fast. So I will go on feeding the next colony, which is the Capenotus Nico colony. So here is the Capenotus Nico colony. I'll put a mealworm in for them. This is the biggest meal they've had so far. Usually I just give them heads of mealworms like you can see there. But that one has started to mould, so that is not good at all. I'm hoping they move it over here soon, because usually they put the rubbish there, but that was like the first meal I ever gave them. But as you can see, the Capenotus Nico colony is doing absolutely amazing. There is eight workers now, two queens, a load of brood, and a load of eggs. Soon we're going to have a big, big explosion of population. So I'll put the red cover on and I'll show you when they start feeding. Thank you very much for watching today's video. And if you've liked this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button because we've got a few more colonies ready to be announced on our channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that and we'll see you very soon.